Hey, what's up guys? It's Rockets, MUTEvolution.com, and I'm here with another installment of 5 and 5. And if you didn't catch last week's video, 5 and 5 of the series are break down the top 5 and the bottom 5 plays of the week. And last week I asked you guys and you guys that record your games if you wanted to include some content um, in the 5 and 5 series, you could just send it to me. And if it makes the top 5 plays or the bottom 5 plays, I would include it. So two of you guys sent me clips, and I managed to work both of them in. So let's get started with the top five plays of the week. And here we go with number five. When was the last time you saw a 69 overall halfback making a highlight reel in Madden Ultimate Team? Probably never, but thanks to this clip from Llama from his Evo Draft Duels game, you're seeing Lamar Miller tear up the Cowboys here. Nice long run, and then we got another one for you from the same game here. Looks like a draw play. Following the blockers, cutting outside, and a 69 overall Lamar Miller putting in work. Evo Draft Duels are a blast, guys. If you haven't played them, come check them out. Thanks, Dark Alpha, for coming up with the concept. So we're at number four here. And Calvin Johnson just swagging on my defense right there. <laughs> Get off me. Puts the two DBs on the ground. Absolutely ridiculous plays. We see that in slow motion here. I'm there. He rises up over me. Breaks the tackle. And then, uh, honestly, without Dominic Rogers Cromartie trailing the play, this might be the number one play of the week if he would have broken that for a touchdown. On to number three. We're sending a one man blitz here. Great man coverage by Dominic Rogers Cromartie. Gets the pick. Not sure why he threw it there. There was just no window. Breaks the tackle. Slips another tackle and carries the pile into the end zone. Putting in work, Dominic Rogers Camardi in five and five back to back weeks. Number two. This was a fun clip to include. This goes out to my guy Manny Lawson here. Talk about how great he is all the time. A 6'5 linebacker with speed and acceleration. Look at how much of the field he's taken away on this play. And then when he finally throws it, who's there to ball hawk it but Manny Lawson? Nice return on the play, too. Show you that one more time. Just look at how much ground he covers on that play to come get the pick. If you haven't tried Manny Lawson for an 82 overall, he sure packs a punch. Strongly uh, recommend you give him a shout out there. And the number one play of the week here, this one's coming in from Erock MUT. So thanks for sending me this clip. A truly uh, amazing punt return here. I want you to notice the fair catch interference there, so he's essentially got a free play. Um, so why not try to break it big? Starts looping back around the other side, and then he hits a wall right here. But he bounces off that wall, and he's got nothing but daylight in front of him, speeding it up here, because we all know what's about to happen. Um, mindful of the clock, running out time right before halftime. Absolutely amazing return. And there you see, uh, obviously that's going to be declined. So I'll show you that one more time. Hits the wall, bounces out, and just got no one to beat at that point. Thanks for sending that in. Great play. And now we're on to five of the not top five. So check this out. Watch Deacon Jones here. He becomes uh, arm's length from the quarterback there and then just decides to start moonwalking. One of the most ridiculous plays I've seen in a while. Look at that. He can reach out and touch him. Then he just moonwalks behind the block. Number four. So I want you to be aware. This is fourth down here, guys. And what does Peyton Manning do? Chucks it off of his own offensive lineman's head. Look at that. On fourth down. Terrible. Number three. Number three reminds us, you guys got to be aware of the clock here. Uh, the guy's got a timeout. Ten seconds left in the half. Close game. Take a shot at the end zone and then take the field goal, right? But his halfback gets locked in. A playmaker battle with Manny Lawson. And when he finally completes it, no time left. At that point, you just got to pick something and go with it so you can at least get the field goal out of it. Show you this battle one more time. Manny just locking him down. And on to number two. And this play uh, shows you exactly why you don't want to try to outrun the quarterback-seeking missile known as Deacon Jones. Check this out. One-man blitz. Target acquired. And here he comes. When he locks on, it's over. You don't want to be the guy running into the end zone there. And of course, what happens right after the play? We get the rage quit. Show you that one more time. RG3's going nowhere. And the number one not top play of the week 
Guys, don't throw to wide receivers you can't see. Because this is gonna happen. You have no idea what's over there. And then my guy Stone Hands Taylor Mays. Give him so much crap for dropping so many interceptions, but he comes through big here. And uh, takes one away right before halftime, runs it back for six. It's good to see Taylor Mays making a big play. And look at that ridiculous decision by the quarterback. Has no idea what's going on over there, and that's what happens. Well, there you have it, another episode of 5-5. Five and Five. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, please do so. We just hit 500 subs this week, so thanks everyone who made that happen. Um, and also, if you're not a member on EVO, as always, we'd love to have you. It's mutevolution.com. Check it out, guys. Have a good one. Later.